basically it is that import numpy that is you all know I can make it as an np also without np also uh, this is a, a, a list okay so but mean variance standard deviation so all you can get it from numpy your c array doesn't give all this support so this is numpy is much 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 greater than facility than uh, for machine learning for any other thing it will give you the all the data points what are the data points is there it will give in mean in variance you know the square of standard deviation and a standard deviation so i am printing it so i can run it and you can see this is the it's a, this is the mean uh, variance this is mean variance and in variance must be square of standard deviation 37 so this is and if you this run this code for you just uh, because initially i have told Sometimes you can use it for Colab. Yeah, it is running without changing a code. You can run this code in Colab and uh, our PyCharm. PyCharm is one of the things. So, the next thing I have to show. Yeah, so this is NumPy. Now, I, I, I little Pi, you can create a big random number range. See here, we can create a 0 0.02. From 0 to 5 to 50 range. Here I, I, I create a histogram uh, that I have shown to you just once more. Uh, this program I wish to run to you. And then I take a x, see, I take a number range uniform, and from 0 to 5.0 with 250 data points, I, I draw it as a histogram and then I display the plot dot show. So just run it. This is the histogram. See here the numbers are there. This is histogram of the plot. How many numbers are 0 to 1? How many number 1? How many numbers are within 2 to 3? It is a plot on this. And also, yeah, it is given the which partial and all. This is one. So here I created a hundred thousand random samples and display them using the histogram with hundred. Same example, uh, just to make it impressive then we go for a little bit of uh, machine learning today so that's it I am uh, because machine learning you need lots of data and lots of data initially uh, lots of data you have to create your own data and uh, fit your own function then you can try with outer data but the data taken from the real world and fit it so initially uh, the your uh, it be random and it is uniform distribution you can create a huge amount of data to teach your machine learning problem so so here what we have done so i done this is i copy clip as mpl fine this is all that i have just this is all clear i just nothing i have done a huge amount of data that is not possible difficult in maybe c java it is uh, one million is one million data and i and steps and hundred bars i want i want to see those data Runs. Yes, this is the histogram it is coming by Matplotlib. Now, more interesting thing is coming up. Yes. This is, I am now uh, entering into the machine learning field. There, I am creating an xy value. I put it in a not histogram, I put a scatter plot. Scatter plot is great for machine learning. And we see, so first we uh, generate, uh, we have not generated, we are putting some data and see it, how it can be seen to our matplot. Uh, these things are pretty, pretty simple. Only thing I create a x and y pairs basically. I wish to see in a scatter plot, then we will fit, uh, we'll fit a straight line, then we calculate what are the errors, then we uh, fit a polygon. All can be done to the end. Let's see. It. Run. See, this is your scatter plot. Now you have to fix a straight line, uh, straight line, so that it doesn't touches uh, the points, but it should go between as far as this. Maybe as a outlier, you cannot fit with a straight line. This so will come to this. So this program is running. I am creating a thousand dots. Okay, uh, this is the, and 
and now I am uh, using uh, matplotlib and I am using a np, I am creating a np, I am creating a, this is np random uh, because np num, uh, number is a np that np dot random function give you the random number and what is the distribution that is a Gaussian or uh, any other distribution you know the, it is a normal distribution it will give thousand data and this is this is a mean the mu means this is a mean I, I want the data so that all the data generated with a mean approximate mean will be 2.5 as sigma is the standard deviation and 1.0 and 1000 and you see I take the data x uh, the mean is 2.5 uh, and here y the data is 5.0 and your standard deviation is 3.0. So, here you see from your x data will be more centralized together in near your uh, 2.5 mean and your y data is uh, because it is 3.0 because it is a standard deviation 3.0 it will be more scattered okay, to, throughout the range. So, let us check it. We just copy this program I will a scatter plot copy this program and run it here here same thing we have done uh, let's see yeah see here you see here is most concentrated here is your x because your mu is 1 the standard deviation is 1 and your y y data is more scattered say y data comes here comes here because i have taken the standard deviation 3 we can little bit change so what can be done so we make it a uh, say to make it a more scattered y make it a say 5 uh, or 4 like 4 and we make this data x p a more towards center let's see what happens it will more pronounced and now we run this. Yeah, you see here x is more concentrated and your y is more dispersed. So, this way you are taking a random, you are creating data, random generation with normal distribution. So, that is the reason you are giving the parameters to it. This kind of data is helpful for your machine learning with a Python. So, So now we 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 matplotlib got scattered. We have done it. Now what we have done? We we fit a straight line. How to do this? Let's see. Let's see. I'll explain this code to you. And I'm taking where the code. I've already given paste the code at my YouTube site and also here also I will give it. Here what I what I, I try to do so here is the same thing I inputted another package scipy uh, for statistics. Let's do this. Uh, this is the same thing x1 y number and I did this
try to understand the program here. Here, this is the program we are giving. We are giving slow. Yeah. So this is this is like y is equal to mx plus c. The slope intercept, all these things, is come from the stats. The stats is the coming from the package side by input stats. side by from side by input stats. Well, this is num by does it mean from side by input stats and from stats we have a linear regression. So linear regression means you have a you have a points you have to fit with, with line straight line and we can fit it with polygonal line also that will be more fitted that will also that that is also available in this. So this is linear regression x y and what is the thing? I have, I have a, uh, everything will come with this slope and intercept and I am I have already have created a model, my model and list my function and plot dot scatter it is whatever number it is there I plot it uh, and draw the line of and uh, whatever is coming by the model uh, that, will, that will be printed here. So model is coming here and now plot dot show. This is it. And if we see the code, uh, run the code. I once run it. Yeah, the first uh, the, this is I need to find my model. I my model. I input the data into there, and then the, they give the formula of y mx plus c uh, that model. That is the side by model, uh, and and this is a uh, plot function. I am showing the this is the what about the result? So this is uh, I think it is uh, this is the slope, and I can show it there also. And this is the code. What is the code? This is the uh, I am uh, using the function stats, and what is the stats is coming from side by. It's from SciPy is a is a built up on NumPy. NumPy gives mean standard deviation, but SciPy gives like statistical other utilities like whatever statistics you know the all the utilities is coming from there. Uh, like covariance factor and all this thing. It's got stats and uh, linear regression and and then uh, you create a function and slope intercept will come and you create a model. This is my model, list map my function and draw the plot as that. This is the plot. Now, uh, this is interesting how it is fitted. So, this is how the data is fitted by linear regression. Again, you have the stats and you have to run this. So, and here, let us see, let us run. Uh, the, it is minus 0.6, and I will tell you what is minus 0.6.
then you can have some predict future values also. Like, like here, I am writing a code here. Okay. All this code will run on your collabs at this time. But here it is interesting. It is faster if the machine is good. Some This is not there, that is a problem. Okay. Yes. Oh, so it will come. Yeah. Oh, there is a curve there. Yeah, this is. There is no matching for this, so that is a real issue. Running. Uh, what is this? This is basically predict. What is the code is there? I am giving the age and the age of the vehicle and the speed of the vehicle. And this is uh, I am now I am using a function speed by function print speed. So I am expecting at what age it will be uh, this will be. Here. So yeah, this is the formula same and my function. So, 10 year old car. So, my, uh, this is the ages, no 10 year, year. Just look at it. There is, so it is the interpolation. Uh, the, these are the age, x is the ages of the car, and this is the speed. Uh, there is no 10 is here. So, I wish to, uh, so I, what I have to do, so this is the xy, then I have to put a linear, I, I have to put a linear regression, a plot, then I have to predict. What is the value of 10? So, all these things can be done and the value is coming 85.5. You can check it. Say, if you check it, a 10 year old, what it is okay. It should be like less than 88. Okay, so this this is the value. I have not told you. given it and I am getting it. I predict it. This is a machine learning, one kind of machine learning. I see one thing is see, this is the bad fit that I also want to show. See here, this is my model. To show it here. It's not all model good for linear regression. So, so this is I want to show it here today. So, See here, uh, nothing, it is a matplotlib and side by uh, input stats packet. This is the x values, y values, uh, and this is from st statistics, from stats, linear regression model. I am getting slope, intercept, uh, 
R P standard error. I will come to this. What are this this thing? And this if this is what is it over here? Here. So if you see, yeah, this is the parameter. See if the parameters is a psi by stats linear regression. So what are the thing? It is slope, intercept, R value. Another point about a linear regression. See your your data points is like this. You want to fit in your computer will fit the data here, and these are the outlet. You cannot fit it, uh, and that is also a point in machine learning to find outliers because outliers probably they are attacking your system. Maybe out they might do wrong things, so it is not you can always ignore outlier. One of the major point in finding out what outlier, what is outlier. Outlier may detect in. Uh, Astronomy, maybe another planet or something. Another the outlier is always has to be moved into and line of base fit. Uh, so this, so all these things can be done in machine learning. So if we run this, so here what I have done, uh, here is uh, linear regression and these are the parameters. If these parameters are uh, available in the library. Run this code. Yeah. See here, your data points is like this, and linear regression this data is a really bad fit, so it cannot be fitted by a straight line for this kind of data. That is only be visible if you put it in a plot function. Otherwise, from here you can. Assume. That is the main utility of this Python and Matplotlib and Cborn and all linear regression. So all data you can visualize. So that is you, you just what is plot scatter x y, and uh, you call a model. You, you know my model. I try to model it by and I fit that by my model that straight line, which is very bad fit. That is shown to you. In polynomial regression.
you know, straight line or polygon line. So, that uh, so why NumPy is faster than list? List is see, list is uh, your data items. It is uh, different. Sometimes integer, floating point number. Uh, the list is uh, always different. So how can you calculate uh, the if it has uniform size? How can you calculate say, where your hundred point is? Your hundred data must be in a C array or NumPy. Your ninety nine into say eight bytes, and then you go to the hundred. But this is variable size. You don't know where is eight byte, twenty bytes. So list is you have to you go from beginning. So list is always slower. 